Ready? Trick question. Don't care. <laughs> Let's go. At least he's uh, prompt. He's to the point. I respect it. Oh, there we go. Look at that flare. Oh my god, is right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, chat. Just think, machines equal to man. No, perhaps even greater. If we can find the key, we can figure out how they work. We can fix 2P, and then... And what? Slow down and use your head. How are we to know that any of what she said was true? Oh, so you just have us sit on our own hands instead of pursuing the untold power that sleeps in these ruins, twiddle our thumbs while others race ahead and claim the prize? I am as intrigued as you are, but I would not have us put our blind faith in someone we've only just met, particularly someone making such wild claims. Were we to bring this key to her, there's no telling what she might do with it. Hmm, if you want to be a coward, be my guest. I'll be boldly forging a path forward, as if you recall, we plan to do. And if we can secure 2P's continued assistance, all the better. <laughs> I'm just standing there in this outfit. What about you? You can either dive into the great unknown with me, or stick in one toe at a time like a beardless baby. <laughs> I love their pose. Proceed with caution. Indeed, I knew you'd have the sense to listen to me. Now let's get started, shall we? No. I don't like relying on this place's internal mechanisms, particularly to dangle me over a gaping chasm, but it seems we have little choice. Maybe if I close my eyes. Even just the uh, environment music is banging. Before we proceed, we should decide upon what to do in the event that we become lost in this maze of a place. These teleportation devices should serve. If you come find your way back to me, use one to return to the entrance immediately. I'll meet you there. Got it. I'd hate to lose our muscle because you wandered off and fell into a pit somewhere. Now you're free to take a look around. If you find anything noteworthy, bring it to me. Rusty what's it? I love their little names for things. It's very whimsical. You have more parts for me, I trust. I got a thingamajig, a what's it, and a damaged pod. Don't be a miser now. Let me see them too. Oh, look at all of these. Hard to say for sure whether we have everything until we take a crack at reassembling it, of course. But it's a start. Are we trying to build one of the wee, one of the little bot things? And this pod. I've been so wanting to take one of these apart. Do you hear something? Function resumed. Initiating repair process. Oh. He's gonna become our friend. Alert. Multiple life forms detected in proximity. Life forms would be us, I presume. Interesting. If it's still functional, there's no need for me to disassemble it. Pity. Still, I say we take it back with us. Any objections? No, of course not. So let's get on with it. The thingamajig. Or is that the what's it? Oh, what's this? It's him, though how he climbed back up here in that state.
So this is what I would look like if you guys hadn't goaded me into wearing the dress, the thigh highs. <laughs> Well, you're the one who wanted to work with 2P. I'm sure she would say to destroy him for good. What do you say? Oh, brother, you know me too well. We take him with us, of course. Just in case. It'll be our little secret. This is a terrible idea. You guys want to see the sword fight? Though, how did he get back up? Conog and I will be heading back out. I want to perform a proper analysis on these parts as soon as possible. I don't blame you if you want to look around a bit more first, though you had best share your findings. <laughs> it's about time. You know those parts we found? Well, I've managed to cobble them together into a decent approximation of something. I was hoping that if I got the basics right, the pod could tell us what it's meant to be. But it won't stop repeating, processing, and beeping at me. It worked when it was analyzing us, so theoretically, it should be up to the task. But it seems we'll have to wait for it to finish. Whatever it is that it's doing. I'm half tempted to take my tools to it, but if I can't put it back together, we'll be back to square one. So, the insurance it is. Hmm. In the meantime, we have quite a bit of other data to analyze. So much, in fact, that I'm certain we will need a considerable amount of time, uninterrupted time, to work. If you take my meaning. I'm telling you to keep the chief off our backs a while. I don't care how. Say that his house is on fire, if you like, or put it to the torch if you're not comfortable with lying. Lally, mysterious machines from the ruins will kill us all, ho, I suppose. Sorry, it's been a lot to take in. Did you manage to keep our local miscreants out of trouble? Um, Yeah. It's true that when it comes to mechanical contraptions, you'll find none cleverer than those two, or more obsessive. If anyone's capable of solving the mystery of these ruins, it's them. Much as I hate to say this, we should leave them to their own devices, for now. Oh, oh, so many stuff. Lolly, what a conveniently timed entrance, ho. I was just thinking that I ought to send someone to check on Anog and Konog. They're still poking and prodding at those what's-its you dug up in the ruins, which is all well and good, until one of them sets off another explosion. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure you'll notice if they blow up anything important. By which point it'll be too late. Good point, actually. Not to mention that our annual carnival is fast approaching. There's plenty that wants doing before we're ready, and I need those two to start pulling their weight. While you're looking in on them, remind them they've got duties outside of tinkering with rusty thingamabobs, will you? Maybe they'll listen if it's you doing the nagging. They seem to respect you, much as they respect anyone. Must be all the violence. <laughs> You'll find them in the tunnels, of course. Can't lure them out of there for love nor money. Believe me, I've tried. <sighs> okay. Okay. Two on a dress on a Torgal. Epic. Oh god, that's an angle. <laughs> you guys saw nothing. Lolly ho Ah, there you are. Can you believe this? Believe what? I waited through days of processing, broke multiple tools, and after all of that... Ah, uh, a uh, stupid son of a hob swiving... I guess he didn't get it working. Anog, not everyone is privy to your inner thoughts. Allow me to explain. The pod confirmed that this device grants the user access to some sort of weaponry, which presumably means that it is indeed the key of which 2P spoke. Unfortunately, no sooner had we gotten it working than it stopped again. 
Based on our previous experiences, we assume that it's run out of power and will require a supplementary energy source. Where are you guys gonna get that? <laughs> so let's hurry up and find one. The sooner we get the key working, the sooner we can pulverize our enemies. Now, wait just a moment. We aren't even certain what sort of weaponry is involved here. Even if we get the key working again, we shouldn't activate it willy-nilly. Honestly, Konog, this ceaseless whining of yours is why we never make any progress. It's not whining, it's being ethical and prudent. Shall the victor be the first to draw blood or the last man standing? Whatever's quickest. Dude, what's all of the floor? Is that oil? Why not both? Okay. <laughs> I love how they're both like in contrast to one another. You get the white, you get the black. Heads, I win, teals, you lose kind of thing. What were we talking about? Ah, yes. Why well, I'm right. I agree that we still know too little about the machine life forms and androids, but that's precisely why we need to seize this opportunity. If we claim the weaponry for ourselves, we'll know exactly what the enemy's capabilities are. Then, and only then, can we protect the village from comparable technology. Fine, fine, I see your point. We'll be safer in the long run if we activate the weaponry sooner rather than later. Or everyone else will. I'll probably have dropped dead from trying to keep up with you. Ha ha ha, you say that, but you're far too stubborn to die. That's why I can always count on you. You too, most loyal and lethal assistant. Come along, we have a power source to find. It's about time. I've been considering what we need in order to power the key. A hefty chunk of crystal from a knocker ought to do it. Though I haven't quite worked out how we'll divert its energy for our purposes. Konog and I will think on it while you head over to the hollows and liberate that crystal. Find us when you're back in Komra. Yes, yes, it'll take a bit of experimentation to get the key powered up. It is science, you know. Don't you worry though, we'll have this thing in working order before you know it. While you wait, why not take some time for yourself? Have a nap, try some of our local delicacies, tell the chef to go bugger himself. <laughs> what? Anog, Konog, where did that come from? Why are they so mean sometimes? Ah, and here's two. I knew you'd roped them into your schemes again. They're good schemes. Anyway, you're the one who keeps sending him to check on us. I wouldn't have to. If you do the work you were assigned, the carnival won't wait on your pet projects. <laughs> oh God. Fine, fine. Come on, Konog, let's get this over with. Adulting. We all gotta do it. I hope you'll be able to attend. You won't have seen the like before, I assure you. Not to mention that we're eager to show our appreciation for your helping us with those machines. And there's no better way to do that than with a dwarven toast to your health or two. Does it? Lolly, I knew you'd be here sooner or later, ho. We've finished preparing, which means it's nearly time to open celebrations with the unfurling of the banners. But first, we'll need an officially sanctioned bearer to present said banners to three of our people. And why not let you do the honors? Others are clamoring for the task, make no mistake. It's an important and highly coveted duty, you understand. But I couldn't deprive you of this opportunity to experience GOG culture hands-on. Consider it a thank you for keeping Anog and Konog from blowing themselves up. And look sharp. We haven't got all day. I definitely look sharp. That much I can say. Aha, you'll be the bearer. Well, hand it over. This is what we've all been waiting for. Ah, the colors of Komra. They speak of our village, our lives, our very souls. Except this one. Never really cared for this one. <laughs> Looks like it tripped halfway through the journey from beige to yellow and then fell in a ditch. Time already, is it? Oh, my hands are so sweaty. Do take care now. I'd hate to be the one that drops the banner. Whew, well done. Let's share a drink once it's safely unfurled, eh? The carnival is our way of showing appreciation for each other, and I certainly appreciate you keeping this banner from slipping away like a greased eel. So the roll bearer went to the outsider after all. Nothing you can't handle, I hope. 
It's not that I think the Chief made a poor choice, mind. Bit of a waste, yes. But there's no better way for you to introduce yourself to the rest of the village. And wouldn't you know it, you're not so bad. Finished, have you? Hopefully speaking with those folks helped impress upon you that this wasn't just some menial errand everyone could have done. No, the slightest mishap in the banner delivery process would have spelled disaster. You hear? Now, without further ado, let the carnival begin. Yay! They should keep this place like this. It's, it's way more vibrant. Yeah, <laughs> the beer. We get some chicken, some skewers, some mushrooms, cheese, and baked potat. <laughs> Why so dramatic? No need to stand there waiting for someone to give you more work to do. Go and witness the fruits of our labors. Revel, frolic etc. If you need a task that badly, you can set yourself to working up an appetite. I expect you to partake heartily of our traditional cuisine, not to mention the drinks. That I can't do. Don't spare me these menial tasks. If I see one more streamer, spoiler alert, Why, if it isn't two? <laughs> he doesn't know. And run absolutely ragged with tedious carnival duties, no doubt. I had the honor of delivering the banners, thank you very much. I am definitely not live streaming this, by the way. Oh, and I suppose you were told it was incredibly important, were you? Well, try not to let it go to your head. Speaking of your head, I expect it just might explode when you see the key in action. Yes, the key. Don't tell me you've forgotten. All of this festive nonsense has been an unnecessary distraction, but Konog and I did manage to make some real progress while the chief wasn't looking. If you want the details, and I know you do, you'll have to meet us at the usual place. The last thing we need is half the village drunkenly eavesdropping. If I see one more streamer... I didn't know we were so hated. There you are. Let's review our work, shall we? Oh, it was you've forgotten some significant detail. See, why are they mean to me? Like, like, why can't they just say, I, I bet you remember everything. As hopefully even you will recall, we required a source of energy to restore functionality to the so-called key 2P told us about. We obtained said source in the form of a knocker's crystalline carapace. Though the transference of energy from crystal to key proved a challenge, Nothing that Konog and I, in my infinite wisdom, couldn't handle, however. <laughs> You'll find your faith in us well rewarded. The key is now fully powered, and as far as we can tell, functional. So I dare say we'll soon be capable of smiting our enemies with the press of a button. Or we would be, if we had the first clue as to how to operate the blasted thing. Indeed. It seems the key is a more complicated device than we anticipated. Thus far, we have succeeded only in making it display a series of strange glyphs. We presented these to the pod for translation, of course, but we cannot make head or tails of its terminology, no matter how many times we prompt it to explain. The androids appear to have an intuitive, or at least finely honed, grasp of technology. So I have no doubt that 2P would know, but... She dead. She saw no sign of miraculously awakening, that's for certain. Uh, you pod, can 2P be revived? That wasn't their first question. Analyzing android repair sequence. Error detected, confirming details. Damage to internal mechanism detected. Proposal. Replace the damaged part. Hmm. So with the replacement part, repair is possible. I dare say facilitating that process would prove more efficient than continuing our own fruitless experimentation with the key. 
I would hardly call wandering the factory for days on end with the barest idea of what sort of part we're looking for efficient. <laughs> Me. So, unless our friend here happened to stumble upon a room filled with android corpses ripe for the harvesting. <laughs> oh yeah, the corpse room. That's a thing. Odd, but superlative. You will take us there at once. We'll bring Pod too. It can tell us if any of the androids still have the part we need. Onward. Sorted. How disturbing. The color of their garb is different, but they do appear to be of the same make as 2P. Which means, ghoulish or not, we can make use of them. This is truly excellent, Konog. My understanding is that Pod should be able to salvage the correct part and initiate the repairs. Let's see. Pause. Hold. Hold. Booba. Did it work? Is Waifu dead? Oh, she's alive. We're still in there, boys. Who still stands a chance? He knows it as well. <laughs> I I was damaged in combat, and you brought me here. And then you wildly inconvenienced us by dying on the table. Yes. Fortunately for you, we were clever enough to pick up Pod here. And by the fact that we were having this conversation, I assume it succeeded in repairing the damage. I see. Did you locate the key as I instructed? Hmm. Despite how little information we had to go on, we did. It's fully operational, as far as we can tell. So, can you use it? An earthquake? What just happened? Oh god! The final days! And Walker! <laughs> what did we do? The mountain. What happened to the mountain? It's Vol 3 again, isn't it? Vol 3 got fighter jets. He traded in the Sin Eaters. This isn't. Anok, look. Oh. Oh. Dear God, the cult. Guys, I'm one of you. Damn, look at her fucking sword, dude. That's sick. Worried for me? Don't be. Why am I worried? Oh? Friends? What 
is the meaning of this? It means that your assistance is no longer necessary. Did we fuck up? <gasps> She's evil? No. 2P. <gasps> Wait, who the fuck's this? Is this 2B? Yo! Where the fuck did 2B come from? The <laughs> hammer. He's kind of hot as like, as like evil arc though, I gotta say. A little bit. A little bit? No? Have it your way then. See this world to its end. Okay. So 2B... Is, is with us now, right? That's just what, what just happened. 2P is back. I know I worried, but I thought she was our friend. Or are they the same person? Hey, girl. Hey. And who are you? Android in black. Is your dress about to turn white? Because if so... I am Yorha, number two, type B unit, but you may call me 2B. Nice. I'm here to destroy the androids in white. We can discuss this later. Right now, we've got to stop 2P. I don't need to go. I don't know about you guys. Ha! <laughs> got him. The puppet's bunker. He switched waifus so fast. <laughs> okay. Oh, god damn. Is that the International Space Station? It's a little bigger. Hang on, where are we? We just, like, walked here. How did we get here? Alright. Let's go. Wow. So we're in the desert, please. I remember this from the game. There's no music. It's very quiet. And ambient. Oh, is this going to be like... I see, we're B, we're B. This is like the one in Stormblood, right? That was a fun fight, but I died a lot. A little busty boy, a little busty. I'm not talking about this glam. Beam cat. Ah, okay, they open up. How do we know when it stops? Wait, why is there so many people dead? What the fuck? Uh, okay, you can run off. Ah, I hit Alliance Ridge! Killed me! That's one way of dealing with the mechanic, I guess. <laughs> Just fucking yeet yourself. <laughs> okay. So, try and stay away from the edges. Got it. 
I've been doing that more often recently. I did it a bunch of times on E3S. Life's last song prepared to regret your choices. <sighs> oh, I thought the, the thing was actually going to hit us. I see. Cool. This is his first boss, by the way. Feel for the casters, I really do. Anti personnel, Mizor. Oh shit, there we go. Okay. Mechanically, not too bad, but me being an idiot, bad. Look at them all. I bet if we took one, they wouldn't even miss it. This is pretty chill. Oh shit, I thought we all died. What the fuck is going on? This is odder than usual. Launch deck. So is this a ship that... Hello. Intrude 76-7P. Intruder's presence confirmed. Activate superior flight units. Fire will. Oh. What do we... Shield program we use active attacks against certain targets are ineffective. Okay. They're working. Take those out. Okay. High power laser. Sharp turn. Why? Oh. <laughs> oh God, we were we're in T. Limit caught, baby. I always get very disoriented in alliance raids. I don't know why. I think it's because nobody knows where the fuck to go. What the fuck? Oh. 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 Well, there goes half the raid. <laughs> oh, we're winning. We're fucking owning. Let's go. Let's go, B team. I'm dead. I'm not dead. We are owning. Let's go. World first. We really are the prime of this alliance. 
Hold on, guys. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh, it's the ship! I see. Wait, is this the actual ship? Where you get your room? To be! Oh. For the glory of mankind. Yeah, I remember the lift as well. Holy shit. No, I, this is this is the place. I remember this shit. Still no fucking clue what the hell's going on, but... Installing operator 210 self-consciousness dot... Radio check again? Here we go. I remember this song too. My God, yo, uh, I'm just leaving this here. Ah, uh, not the orbs, not the orbs. Uh, you know what? I'm going all the way over here. This is fast for an alliance raid, what the fuck? Do they just design alliance raids to kill people? Just absolute carnage, is that what they do now? Unusually high threat level confirmed. True. Oh my god, I'm gonna get distracted, chat. It's like a, a gaze mechanic. Oh, she's gone. Fuck this shit. I bet that was stage one. Stage two is going to be like triple the amount. Oh, my queen. Am I safe here? Oh. I would have been. Close call. That'd be good. Ours? I got... Okay, you guys got it. I guess I get this one. And I'm out of range. God damn it, tanks. What are we doing? Oh. That's what we're doing. What the fuck? Thanks for the rescue, I guess. I, I still got a hit.
That one's an easy mechanic. This is only third boss? I think I know where we're going. Maybe. Rude. What the fuck? Uh. Kind of cool, though. I, I must admit, it's a kind of cool little situation we got going on here. Into the odds. Bam. Oh shit, look at this. I love games like this. <laughs> look at the four Vuln stacks. Into the odds again. I was like, cool. Oh, he's still alive. Let's go. Wait, Peloton doesn't work here? Oh, no, 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 no. You can gotta tear the barricade down. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Too many inputs. Uh, horizontal inputs. Somehow I am not dead yet. Somebody caught that one for me. I was surely going to get hit by that. Yeah, I should true. We're good. Two <gasps> B and two P. Unit 2P process termination confirmed. She killed her? And we missed it? Fuck. Oh. Not yet. That's not creepy. That's not creepy. <laughs> I want her sword. I would take a. Oh my god, what the fuck are these things doing? Are they making the rat? You know, the rat monster thing? Like, it all like the compound 4C 6F6 E6769 nice 6E something. Oh my god. This is sick. Look at this ball, this fur ball. Cool. Kind of go laceration. Get the fuck out of there. Okay.
Oh, that was a dynamo. That didn't look like a dynamo at all. <laughs> First sprite's already dead. Wait, how can that person be a sprite? Maybe the- oh, they haven't done MSQ, I guess. Oh, you gotta be in? Uh, I see. Rip. It's almost dead. This cannot be its final form. Kind of go laceration again. Dissection? This is gonna be a chariot. Uh oh. It's gonna break apart and form some creepy shit, isn't it? Why do they have the health bar, man? Come on, Yushi P. The crunchiness. Oh. Oh, 2P. Mama. <laughs> Mama. God damn. <laughs> All right. Well, we're doing this. I dig it. They were thinking some things over at uh, Square Enix at this time. I'm, oh, okay. That was just a read wide. Da, 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 da. Is that born from the heavens? Uh, oh, something? I don't know. Ah, okay, that's the chariot. In? Is it cleave? Do, do, do. Oh, I like this variation. Pretty cool. Ribbing. Just a red light. Oh god damn, this is I like how we're getting like some really interesting versions of all of the normal kind of mechanics. I think that's a death wall, right? Oh my god, look at our party. We were carrying. We just got distracted, I guess. Understandable. Why that one? 
That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Oh, we're recovering. We're recovering. I'm so glad I don't have to res in this. Do we go in? Sitar. I got this one. Oh, you're not. Are you not meant to soak those? Okay. <laughs> Oops. They look like towers. I'll be alive for when she dies, right? Okay, I thought there was something different. Gonna get my dots up so I look like a good bard. There we go, there we go, there we go. Perfect. Nothing happened. Yeah. I thought she was gonna melt. Oh, that's why I had the thing on. Silly me. The puppet's bunker complete. Now that was fun. I just had no no clue what the fuck was happening. <laughs> oh, the music. I was so wrong, so, so wrong. I made you go along with my decisions. I put everyone in danger. Anog. I'm the one who let the conflict spread this far. Blaming yourselves is unnecessary. Forgive me, but you seem so similar to 2P, and we still don't really understand either of you. Are you truly our ally? I can't be certain. All I know is that I was damaged in battle with the machine life forms, and then I was here. Your world is very different from where I was. I don't know my coordinates, and I can't contact command. I just followed the explosions. Let's approach this from a different angle then. What are the machine life forms, and why were you fighting them? The machine life forms are weapons created by aliens from beyond the stars. As part of Yorha, my mission is to reclaim the planet from these invaders. Alien... invaders? Never mind. What about 2P? As an android, does she not belong to this Yorha as well? No. She is a copy built by the machine life forms, probably to fight Yorha specifically. We also retrieved another android. A boy. If he's still with you, I would like to see him. Very well. Can't make things any worse. Actually, he's a good guy, right? No? Since we, like, switched sides? Good call, kidnapping the boy, I guess. Damn. Did we really have to go with that angle? <laughs> Why do we have to do the kneeling dot? We hit him where 2P wouldn't know to look. Follow me. Nine S. My duty is to annihilate the machine life forms. For that, I require the assistance of Nine S. We must revive him. Fortunately, we have some experience with this sort of thing. What do you say, Anog? I don't. I. Oh, poor little Anog. What happened to forging ahead? Uh, I'm certain everyone could use a rest before we proceed. 
A lot has happened, and we should take time to think things through. Oh. 